Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Leo, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Leo. If you like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'll repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Help me reach the next level on Ko-Fi so we can get better equipment for better videos. And if you'd like to make a donation, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Leo... The message for you, on the bottom of the deck, we have number 26 with Newt, stars and timing. This is the night goddess that you're com uh, connecting with. Alright, she's a night sky goddess, arching here. But you're connecting with the stars. Now we look at your cards, we have Ra. So I feel like you're connecting with the series star system, Leo, because Ra is connecting with that. We have the stars here. Stars and timing. Right now is the right timing for it because we are connecting with the Sirius star system, that constellation, and that's all opening up the Lion's Gate and everything. So you're connecting with all of that. Right now is the right timing. And we have number 30 with raw creative power. Number 29 with Kebsna fire spirit. Number 35 with segment change and healing. And we have number 41 with Sphinx. Silent Wisdom. So you notice there's a lot of your own element here in this reading. Sekma, which is the Lion Goddess. We have the Fire Spirit. You're our fire sign. So what I feel, I feel like this is the right timing here. Where you're really tapping into your creative power. You're really tapping into that healing power as well. You're tapping into that Fire Spirit. This is all being awakened within you in these spirits. You're also connecting with the Sphinx. So connecting with the Sphinx... It is remaining silent throughout meditation, and I feel like that's when you're really going to awaken all of this right here. And these are the beings that you're connecting with, Leo. So in terms of your runes and your charms, we have Virgo. So you can have those placements or one around you. We have this dragon rose. So the dragon is strength. The rose is like, um, it's like tenderness. It's like softness. It's like romance. You know, things like that. So there's a bit of both there. It's like balance. Once again, we have a dragon here just explain what the dragon is. We have the rainbow on it, which feels like is ascension, and it is the rainbow bridge to all of this. We have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey, and then we have Aries. So once again, you can have those placements or one around you. You have this moth, which can be connecting to the stars, the night, the moon, all that. We have this dragon moon, which can be a symbol of coordinate. We have these two dragons, one being of the sun, one being of the moon. There's a state of balance where you're connecting with both here. We have stillness as you're going through a spiritual initiation. So, Leo, that's all I have for you, and like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop, go on there, go buy something, really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.